Through midday today, more than 422,000 voters cast early ballots in Dallas County alone. Sean Rabb has been exploring the early voting numbers today and is in studio tonight. Sean. And Steve, among those early voters, one who never voted before and one who's never voted as Republican until now. But Dallas County following that Texas trend, early voting smashing records. And tomorrow, the last day expected to be big. You know, the first three days of this week, not so much. And some of that could do with potential headaches for Hillary Clinton. 2008, Barack Obama running for president brought record early voting. We're definitely going to surpass 2008 uh, voting records and, and, and definitely 2012. This election, where the commander in chief will change, delivered record numbers the first week of early voting. Nearly 80,000 more voters turned out the first five days this year than in 2008. There are folks who have made up their mind probably some time ago and nothing was going to dissuade them. But the rush to the polls tapering this week. 21,000 fewer votes than the same three days in 2008. Out. Political science People professor Harold Clark yeah, not surprised by that trend. I think the rest are pretty well regular folks who you know, typically come out on election day. And if anything, they'll uh, hold back a bit and try to sort out what's going on because of these recent revelations. Revelations that broke last Friday with new questions about Hillary Clinton's emails and the Clinton Foundation. This is huge in terms of the legal implications. And Clark says Trump's upward trend in the polls worth noting. But it's most likely a Republicans deciding in the end that, uh, uh, you know, whatever their difficulties are with Trump, in the end, they'd prefer a Republican president to a Democrat. I work for the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. I also work for an openly gay council member in D.C. Taft Thompson grew up politically Democratic, twice voting for Barack Obama. I was heavily involved um, in all aspects of the party. But is today Republican voting for Donald Trump? We believe in what the party stands for, economic development. Uh, personal responsibility. I was a national delegate for Bernie, an at-large delegate representing the whole state. But when Sanders left the race, first-time voter Fanvar Anwar moved to the Clinton camp. And I voted for her. Obviously, I wish the primary turned out differently, but uh, I, have, I have high hopes for what's going to go on. We have the most progressive platform. If early voting history is right, what's going to go on tomorrow will be last-day early voting lines that look like the first day. We'll see a very high turnout. I'm curious, and I don't know if there's anywhere to know this at this point, Sean. Right. Is, is the big early voting turnout because of excitement about this presidential race or just kind of the evolution of early voting, and this is the direction we're going? So whenever you have two candidates, when there's completely going to be change in the White House, you have larger than typical turnouts. Uh, this election has a greater turnout than 2012 also. 2012, you had an incumbent running for re-election. But now you have two who will be a different commander-in-chief, and that is driving some of this. Also driving it, Steve, some of it is the no vote for either one of these, and mm -hmm. some of it is the yes vote, obviously. 